Hey guys, it's Justin. Uh, it's been a long time since I've recorded. Last time I did, it was almost at least a month ago. Um, I know I was saying that I was going to be giving out some books, and, and I still hold up to that promise. Um, it's just when I received all that, when I had a, bun a bunch of that stuff, I thought that I was actually going to have time to like put that out and mail all that stuff out. And I've actually had to work way more at my second job than I thought I was going to. Um, and so, unfortunately, um, I will be able to give out books. But it's going to be very, send one here uh, one week, wait a couple weeks, send another one. Um, so please get in contact with me, um, those who are like really desperate and really want it. Please message me. I, I know some people have messaged me before. Um, so just let me know um, which one you'd like. Watch my previous video about it. Um, and uh, just let me know. And I'll try to get to those as soon as possible. I just, lately I've at least worked, you know, three days a week of 12 hours each. And then when I'm, the other two are at least, you know, eight to nine hours. So it's just, it's just been a lot to do, and I didn't know I was going to be working that much. So, anyway, let's get to uh, what I was going to present. So my great friend Jeffrey Castell uh, Dauro, hopefully I didn't botch that up. I'm sorry if I did, Jeffrey. Um, sent me some stuff uh, in the mail, and uh, thought I'd like to share that with everybody. I actually got. You know, he sent me some awesome stuff that was uh, some actual bootlegs. I possess bootlegs, but they're like copies of bootlegs. They're CDRs, and they're really not the same thing. Um, you know, not the bootlegs are, uh, I don't know, I can't really like say they're great or anything, but I like them and I own them. But these are like actual real bootlegs. I only have like one or two of those. I. I in my possession. Now I have a bunch because of Jeffrey, so thank you. But first off, this is one of the real things that he gave me. Um, this is a, uh, looks like press package of um, Brian Wilson's, you know, first album. And it's really awesome. Hopefully this is not in reverse like my other videos have been. Um, this has got some great stuff. Now, Jeffrey did tell me this came with a poor, uh, a big, a pretty good sized picture of Brian autographed. Um, he did keep that, which I don't blame him. But this stuff is just really cool. Um, so it's uh, stapled up here, so I'm not going to try to move it very far. But I've honestly, even since I got this, uh, we had company for a week, and I've actually not even had time to read this. I've had this for a week. Um, so I thought I'd let everybody see that. Um, uh, this must be the those sets that they call it. Is it EPK? Like those promo sets? I don't know because I'm young and I wasn't around for that kind of stuff. Um, I think that's what they would call this. Uh, but it has um, a biography of Brian with this awesome... Uh, front page that's kind of, you know, a reflection of his album cover. Uh, if you listen in the background, you'll hear that terrible bootleg sound of the Sweet Insanity outtakes. It really doesn't sound good. But I thought I'd play it because um, uh, YouTube won't say, hey, you're playing something that's copywritten because this stuff isn't really released, right? Um, so I thought I would play this. So, water builds up. I have not listened to Sweet and Sandy in so long. Oh, man, the outtakes of this are, like, sound even worse than the real album. Or, real album. Um, there's something about the sound quality that sounds really weird, but here's a conversation with David, or with David Leaf and Brian Wilson. Um, and maybe I'll, I'll take pictures of these and put them on my Facebook if anybody would like me to. If there's any more like this out there, let me know. I would love to hear about this kind of stuff. 
um, making of the album, and of course that's you know Brian kind of discussing it, and then uh, selected discography of Brian Wilson. So that's cool. Um, no, if there's anything rather interesting, uh, goes from Heroes and Villains to Wild Honey to Darling to Do It Again to Rock and Roll Music to It's Okay to Good Time and to Medley. Um, and then other stuff that he's BJ Thomas's version of Don't Worry Baby and David Lee Roth's California Girls. Uh, and then other um, top hits. Uh, and then there's You'll see, ah, the light. This is, come on, okay. Yeah, if you held light up to this, you can see it's Brian from that album. So, um, I don't know if it's like a, I don't know what you would call that type of, ne not negative, but I don't know, whatever. Um, so there's that. Now on to Boo Legs. Woo! This I was really excited to see. I've seen this online so much. And now that we have um, the Smile Sessions in box, some of this stuff is slightly obsolete. I know we've talked about on the Smiley Smile board about what's now available and what's still on this that's not available. Um, it's still pretty cool to have this. This is like an artifact to me. When I saw this, when I first opened it up, um, see it tunes. When I first opened it up, I was... I felt like I was in high school again, seeing a bootleg for the first time. Um, fortunately, I grew up when the internet was young, and and it was just, you know, had so much stuff to find and print out and read and stuff about boots. Um, so there's this booklet. Uh, I feel like I read a review about this booklet saying it wasn't very good. Um, I haven't read it yet, but it's rather thick. Um, I'm sure it's not anything mind-blowing or new that I don't know yet, or we don't know, but it's still cool to have. And as far as it just being a real bootleg, it's very awesome. It's not a copy of a bootleg. It is the bootleg itself. I'm so excited to see this stuff. Um, so, this is, I'm not going to show all of this, but this is this too. Brian there. A child is the father of the man and whatnot and vegetables. So there's that. I love the way Brian looks on that cover. It's awesome. Oh, forgot to show the back. That's a beautiful back. Bootleg Makers actually made, did a really good job of this. Um, I'll show real quick the uh, Sweet and Sandy Outtakes cover that I show. There's a track listing. I'll just listen to Don't Let Her Know She's an Angel. Capital Punishment. Very cool. And here it is. About last night. This is a great Brian Wilson song. I love it so much. Now, seeing that this is an actual CD that actually has ink, you know, it's not a sticker on the cross of it like, like other CDRs that I have. So cool to see this. Pretty pumped. There's the uh, two disc track list. I'm sure a lot of people are on this. So, I'm really excited about just seeing, reading the booklets because it's like, I don't know, it's just some of that information that either isn't presented anywhere or. Um, just pictures that aren't, you know, used as much. Um, it's just really cool stuff. Um, so, let's see here. <clears throat> Got a few smile ones. Here's a smile box. Um, it's from the Bigatone, right? There's a track list. So, got a poster, it's not a poster, of course, same infamous cover, 
So you got that. It's two. Brian being hip. That looks so good. Like, you would think this is really professionally made. Innocent Justin Plank from 15 years ago would have been like, I found it. It's real. No. Um, I don't know if this booklet, it, it looks like it's got lyrics from everything. Um, it doesn't look like it's as detailed. I don't know because I can't read it really that fast. But, again, I'm really looking forward to... Um, Really looking forward to reading all this. Tones, two necks. You know, it's got stuff from the sessions that's saying, but actually we know that they kind of confuse that with, um, oh, holidays or look. Um, and now we know two necks is a Carl Wilson song from that time, um, which is a really good song. Uh, it's really awesome that it was put on the um, smile box uh, and then there are some official releases in here but we have the uh, words of music from imagination uh, I've actually not heard this CD I know I've heard of this CD I've just never listened to it because I've never had it that's cool got the Paley sessions so there's that one, which has um, supposedly several versions of Proud Mary. Uh, I didn't know there were multiple ones. Um, I don't know how much of a real CD that is. This feels like it's got a label on it. Not saying it's not real, but um, let's see here. Ooh, Time to Get Alone. That's a good boot. It's got a lot of stuff from... Uh, Let's see. Uh, today, party, summer days. Randomly, it's got uh, Dennis's uh, Holy Holy on here, or Holy Christmas. So, but as you can see, there's the CD in there. Love the way that stuff looks. It's so awesome to get that stuff. I actually had this uh, Sweet and Sandy before. It was just a copy, but I had this cover, and then I had this which um, had some bonus tracks at the bottom, like in, in My Car, Being With The One You Love, uh, Daddy's Little Girl, and He Couldn't Get His Poor Old Body To Move. Um, but to me, you know, that's a real CD, you know? Oh, that's weird, looking back at the computer like that. <laughs> weird. Me, I love Let's uh, Stick Together. A weird Al was on that on the accordion. Um, it's so much better than the waltz, in my opinion. Um, got a nice copy of this, the Only With You Dennis Wilson compilation from ESQ. Love having that. Extra copies of that. Um, looks like Landy locked here. And I find it odd that they have a picture of the guys from the 70s. But everything there, for some reason, you know, they included uh, Soulful Old Man Sunshine, Back Home, and uh, Out in the Country. Um, I'm glad to have this back. I actually mis mistakenly gave this particular CD to somebody um, because I thought, well, I've got all the albums and I've got the Good Vibrations box set, so why do I need an extra copy of this? But it's got like Susie Cincinnati on here, a uh, single version. Um, and I, it's got beautiful um, cover art and uh, a celebration of that, you know, the brother years. Uh, I, I love this booklet. And I wish I hadn't gave it away, but I'm glad I got it back. So, I can reread this stuff. This is like... You know, this was the first exposure I had to the 70s and 80s Beach Boys. I didn't know, really, I didn't know a lot about the music. This was the first place I ever heard this whole world. Or uh, Long Promised Road, or Honking Down the Highway. Um, so that's rather cool. Um, 
Another Smile Boots. The Unsurpassed Masters. And the Smile Boots. You'll be able to see on the back the serial number. And yet another Smile. The early years. Um, we got the Pet Sound Sampler, which I've always read about. Was this a promo that was given out? Front Row Center. So was this a radio promo? Um, you know, by the time the Pet Sounds box that came out, I was, I hadn't, I hadn't got into the, I hadn't got into them yet, and so, um... I got it like you know five at, five years after the fact, and so um, says number twenty five not for sale, and this broadcast for stations. So um, that's pretty cool. I've been looking for that for a while actually. Um, then we got the words and music for Brian Wilson eighty eight the promo. I had the CD, or the record, now I have the CD. Very cool. Um, that sounds Sessions. And a Vegetable Brian on the back. And 21 Little Ones. Look at all that random stuff they put on that one. And the Pet Sounds Rehearsals. Whoa, deep inside us, it's the rhythm of a This is the one without Bob Dylan, um, the spirit of rock and roll. So, there's all that. There's 17 and a half minutes you can't get back. Um, hope you enjoyed yourself. And please contact me if you're wanting one of those books from one of my previous my previous video about the free books. Um, please be patient with me. There's a lot of stuff I really want to do in this Beach Boys community, like giving out the free books and doing like a podcast. Uh, Phil Migalori, I believe that's your name, I or I believe I pronounced that right. You know, he said that I could possibly do a you know a, an episode or show you know podcast with him. Uh, he said he would help with that. Um, with the time I've got or don't have, it's I don't know when I can get to it. Um, so I really hope you're all understanding, and I'm sorry that I haven't got to you. It, I, it's not that I don't have it. It's just that I didn't have. I don't have the time to to get it out. So the sooner you get to me, the sooner you can possibly get this. So let me know, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll talk to you later.